Hello friends and welcome back to the Dream Channel. I'm really excited to have you guys here today because we're gonna be reviewing my top 10 choices for third grade book series. Now, I will preface that by saying that the Lexile range for these books is from 470 to 870, though I am a strong believer that children should be able to read what they like, what interests them. So what, regardless of whether or not it is above or below their Lexile range, if they love it, let them read it. Families and educators, if you don't have your kiddos with you right now, please make sure to grab them and share this book tasting video with them so that they can take part in choosing a book that interests them. I mean, don't we all like making our own choices? Okay, before we begin, make sure to click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any book reviews, free lesson plans, and educational resources. And keep in mind that all of the book recommendations mentioned today are going to be listed in the description box below along with some book tasting printables. Book series number one on our list is Pages and Company. Tilly has lived with her grandparents in their bookstore, Pages and Company, since her mother's disappearance shortly after Tilly was born. Though 11-year-old Tilly Pages struggles to make friends, she makes a connection with Oscar, her neighbor. Tilly finds great comfort and joy in reading the enchanted stories around her grandparents' bookstore. And one day, she makes a life-changing discovery when she finds a box of her mother's favorite books. When Tilly's favorite characters, Anne of Green Gables and Alice in Wonderland, start showing up at the shop, Tilly realizes that she is a book wanderer someone who reads a bit harder than most people and can be transported inside the story. Together, Tilly and Oscar learn the complicated rules of book wandering as they journey through the books and go on exciting adventures. As new secrets are uncovered, Tilly begins to realize it is up to her to solve the mystery of her mother's disappearance all those years ago. Will this bookish young heroine be up to the task? To find out, you'll have to check out the Pages and Company series. Number two on our list is the Fantastic Frame series. Danger, Tiger Crossing is the first book in the Fantastic Frame series. The main character, Tiger, is an intriguing boy who meticulously observes his surroundings, analyzes clues, and solves problems. When 10-year-old Tiger Brooks and his family move into a new home, he sees some strange things at the house next door, like a talking pig in a top hat? When he and his neighbor, Luna Lopez, investigate, they discover the pig works for the reclusive Viola Dots. Years ago, Viola's only son disappeared in a magical picture frame, and she searched for him in artworks ever since. In this book, Tiger and Luna get pulled into a painting and they must escape before time runs out. Will Tiger and Luna escape or will they be trapped in the painting forever? Number three on our book series list is The Unicorn Rescue Society. Elliot Eisner isn't exactly thrilled with his first day of school because his class is going on a field trip to what he considers a very creepy forest, the Pine Barrens. The trip is led by Professor Fauna, who is the weirdest teacher Elliot has ever met. And the only kid who will talk to Elliot is Euchenna Devereaux, who isn't afraid of danger. As a matter of fact, I think she kind of likes danger. Elliot and Euchenna are about to become a part of a secret group of adventurers, the Unicorn Rescue Society, whose goal it is to protect and defend the world's most mythical creatures. Will Professor Fauna, Elliot, and Euchenna be able to rescue a mythical creature from a duo of conniving, greedy billionaires? To find out, you're gonna have to go pick up the Unicorn Rescue Society. Number four on our list, the Cam 
Jansen series. Cam and her friend Eric are sitting at the mall when the jewelry store is robbed. Cam sees the thief, but to her surprise, the police arrest the wrong person. Now it's up to Cam to catch the real criminal. Will Cam be able to catch the diamond thief or will the thief pull off the crime without a hitch? The Cam Jansen series is perfect for young readers who are making the transition to chapter books. And Cam is a spunky young heroine that readers have loved for over two decades. So if you love using your sharp detective skills to solve mysteries, check out the Cam Jansen series. Rolling right along to number five on our list is the Planet Omar series. To quote Betsy Bird, librarian and book critic, if you have a kid who loves Diary of a Wimpy Kid or the Big Nate books, you have to introduce them to Omar. He's an affable Pakistani Muslim boy who lives in England and he's just started school in a new town. He faces prejudice from a class bully and a cranky lady next door. But Omar somehow seems to find the funny in every situation. A book for younger readers that isn't afraid to tackle real issues head on in its own Omarish way. Number six on our list is the Jake the Fake series. Number one New York Times bestselling author Adam Mansbach and NAACP history maker recipient and cartoonist Keith Knight collaborate to create this hilarious and entertaining Jake the Fake series. Jake can barely play an instrument, not even a kazoo, and his art, hmm, well, it's better suited for Pictionary than Picasso, which is a real problem because Jake just faked his way into the Music and Art Academy for the gifted and talented. And Jake is pretty sure he's neither. More jokester than composer, Jake will have to think of something quick before the last laugh is on him. Number seven on our list is the Judy Bloom series. In Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing, poor Peter Hatcher's little brother Fudge is making his life miserable. Fudge throws tantrums, causes tons of chaos, and steals his beloved turtle Dribble. Fudge is such a handful that Peter gets dragged in to helping his mom take care of him. Peter hopes things will change when Fudge grows up, but will they? Or will Fudge grow to be an even bigger menace? To find out, you'll have to check out Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing and the hilarious stories that follow. Number eight on our list is the Diamond Daniel series. Third grader Diamond Daniel was forced to move from Brooklyn to Washington Heights when her parents got divorced. Diamond is intelligent, especially when it comes to numbers, and sometimes her confidence makes her seem a little bit cocky. But deep down, Diamond is like most other kids. She longs for friendship and wants to be able to fit in. But it's her refreshing spunk, can-do-it attitude, and ability to stand up for what she believes in that sets her apart from the crowd. This third grader is here to make friends, reconsider what she really needs in life, and question the narratives she's been hearing at school. This fun series will teach young readers the importance of looking for the best in others and finding ways to help those in need around them. Number nine on our list, the Zach and Zoe mysteries. There's nothing eight-year-old twins Zach and Zoe love more than playing sports and solving mysteries. So when those two worlds collide, well, it doesn't get any better than that. So when a baseball signed by Zach's favorite major league player goes missing, the search is on. Luckily, amateur sleuths Zach and Zoe are on the case. Can they solve the mystery and find the ball before it's lost for good? To find out, read the Zach and Zoe mysteries. 
Number 10 and the final series on our list is Mr. Lemoncello's Library. When Kyle Keeley learns that the world's most famous game maker, Luigi Lemoncello, has designed the town's new library and is having an invitation-only lock-in on opening night, Kyle is determined to be there. But the tricky part isn't getting into the library, it's getting out. Because when morning comes, the doors stay locked. Will Kyle and the other kids catch every clue and solve every puzzle to find the hidden escape route? To find out, go read Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library. Well friends, that's a wrap for our book tasting review. I've linked all of the books and free book tasting printables down in the description box below. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to check out my graphic novels review. It's fantastic for reluctant readers, but truly fun for all. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any free lessons, resources, and reviews.